Hey there, Cancer. Welcome. Well, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. And this is what is being hidden from you. Now, maybe you have something hidden from you. Maybe you don't. It might resonate with you. It might not. It might not seem like it resonates with you. And then later on, you find out, hey, because it's hidden, you didn't know about it. So, of course, it didn't seem like it resonated. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. We have... Okay, this is the death card. I have to think about this deck for a while. Scorpio energy. So we have the death card here. Something ending for something new to begin. There's a major transformation going on in your life. Though. You're going through a major transformation. Okay. So, and we have here the hangman. Seeing things new perspective. Being patient. Waiting for something to happen. You might be feeling a little uneasy. A little uh, weird. Because when you go through a transformation... It shifts and changes everything around you and, and, and for you and to you. And also, I look at this hangman as something might be hidden in a closet here. And this skeleton is behind a wall. You don't see the skeleton. So something's hidden. Someone's hiding skeletons. There's a secret. And then we have here the Three of Swords. Okay. Yeah, someone's being attacked here. It's like someone is attacking someone. Maybe you're not aware of this. Maybe someone's doing this behind your back. But someone might be, you know, betraying you in some way. Okay, and it's hidden here. Okay, then we have, on the bottom we have here, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So someone is interested in you and you don't know it. Or someone wants to talk to you, come towards you. I have a, a stable offer here. They might even be bringing you a gift of money. This also might happen at night, or you might hear something. With the owl, I see the owls have very keen eyesight. Also, they can hear, like, simultaneously things going on one side and on the other side because their ears are not, their proportion, like, one's higher than the other, so they, they can hear different things at the same time. So let's see. Let's see what charm. I'm going to pull a charm on here. I'm probably not going to remember what this card was to pull words on it later. But, whoa, the tree of life. Yeah, so there's growth. Someone wants growth with you. Someone can see things really going to branch out to get to have a healthy connection with you. That's what they want here. Maturity, past life connection also. And this is long lasting. So this person probably sees you as a past life connection. Okay, now let's clarify what we have here. Okay, so we have Seven of Swords, Deception and Strategy. See, what, you, what you're not seeing is that someone is trying to deceive you somehow. But it could be that that's why you put an end to something be, and you're starting again. Because maybe you did see this. Because the Death card... Hmm, let me just think about this for a minute. Let me get some energy on this. Yeah, you could have put an end to something and started over because of this deception. But it could have pushed you into your transformation because of it. It put you in a new direction. So maybe it was a necessary evil that had come take place in order for you to go where you're supposed to go. Now let's see about this um, hanging man. Ooh, Seven of Wands, defense mechanism. Someone might be retreating or hiding something because it's to defend themselves, to keep... You know, the Seven of Wands always like you're above the rest, like you're able to do something here that others can't. It's like you be the pick too. Like there's if there's a job situation, you be the pick. I'm always amazed at this card because I see right in here in this polar bear arm here, the the paw on the arm, it looks like an, a polar bear head. So there's like something hidden. It's like the face hidden. Let me show you that again. Me, I didn't have it there long enough. You can see that. Something hidden there. Defense mechanism. Protecting yourself from seeing things in a different perspective. Protecting yourself and maybe being patient about something coming to be too with the hanging man. Okay, a skeleton there. What about this three of swords? Okay, magician manifesting. So you're manifesting something or someone's trying to manifest something here. Um, Aries, Aquarius, energy. But someone has hurt you and you might be trying to manifest something out of this hurt. Or someone is trying to manifest some kind of betrayal here. Take it how it seems to resonate with you. Bottom deck we have Three of Cups Celebration Community. Now this could be a third party. You know we have Three of Cups plus Three of Swords here. There's something that just doesn't feel right. I feel like someone really, this is a night of 
Pentacles is really interesting and probably someone else doesn't like it. Because that's why we have the deception and the strategy. It might be someone that you're close to, too. I hate to say that, but it feels like it. And that's not going to be for everyone. Okay, let's see here. What else do we have? Okay, we have here, this is the Page of Pentacles. So there's an offer coming in. And again, the owls, the wise owls. It's like, there's, um, maybe at night this is going to come in, or you're going to hear something, or see something. You're going to be aware of something here, though. There's also a couple cats in here. Very psychic energy, very strong connection. There's balance. Nine lives. Okay. So this is, um, Taurus Virgo Capcom. Let's get a charm on this one. Some kind of news coming in. Some kind of offer coming in. And we have a bicycle built for two. So it's going to be someone offering you something to do together. Maybe even go on a trip. Or help do something fun. Working together, though, on something. Okay. It's not, I actually, it's not a bicycle built for two. It's a bicycle with two on it. <laughs> okay, so we have the world card, a completion, an ending of a cycle to start, <laughs> start something new. Something could be coming back around. But you are completing something. And we have the six swords. Yes, you're completing something, leaving something, you're done with something, and you're moving on to better times. Six of swords. And we have here the sun. Yes, it's all happiness. Leo energy. Coming into a time of happiness. One of the happiest cards in the deck. Okay, now let's see. Let's clarify this page of pentacles for you guys. We have four cups of missed opportunity. Someone's returning because they feel like they missed out and they're coming back to talk to you. You may not be expecting this person to come back. It almost feels like it's, it's different from this energy up here. So you might have a couple people that are interested and you might have no idea that either one of them likes you or is trying to make a comeback. What about this world card? Yes, yeah, Sagittarius, Temperance, Restoration. They want to restore this connection. So here we have the Missed Opportunity, Four Cups. We have the World card, which is complete, something come back around. And also with the Six of Swords, that could be someone leaving something to come towards you, or you're leaving something for something better, or it could be both. You could both be leaving either relationships or a way of life or something and end up being together. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the uh, Six of... And this is also being patient, too, with the Temperance. Why do we have the Six of Swords? Three of Wands. Awaiting results. Yes, you're going to leave something or someone's waiting for something to happen here. You you put in the motions. You did what you had to do. And now you're waiting for your ships to come in. And we have Six of Wands. Success and recognition. And it's happening, maybe. It's happening. You got the Six of Wands. So you're going to be rejoicing. You're getting recognized either for your work or for something here. Whatever you put out there is coming in. Maybe you didn't expect this to actually work. And it is. That could be too. <laughs> Let's see here. What else do we have here for Cancer? Ooh, we have here the Hierophant. And it's, um, so there's, there's a change come. There's commitment. There's, there's something structured, organized coming in here. And there's an ending here. The, so you're, there's definitely things changing and ending and, and your life is changing um, a lot here. And the Ten of Cups. Wow, how nice. Okay, bottom deck we have this. Oh, memories. Things coming back around. Um, six of Cups. Someone's coming back. Something's coming back. A situation, a person, something's returning. And they want commitment, it looks like. But there's an ending here that's happening, but it's going to bring you happiness. So whatever has to end is, is needed to end. And something is coming in here. Someone um, wants commitment. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Work in progress. They're working on this. They're working on coming towards you. And the Ten of Swords. We have stalemate and indecision. There's an ending here that was very hard to do, but it's still going to get done. I don't know. There's a someone's um, not doing it right away. There's indecision about it, but it must be done. 
Okay, and then we have the Ten of Cups. We have, oh, we have the Page of Cups, a Messenger of Love. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Someone's coming in here. They they want this with you. A brand new beginning, Ace of Wands. Okay, let's see. Let's get a um, charm for the Messenger of Love here. We have, oh, love. We have a heart that says love on it. Okay, so this person has a lot of love for you. And they're coming in. They want a new beginning. Passionate new beginning. There's going to be sparks flying. Hey, I'm doing this reading right now on the 4th of July. And they got their sparkler in their hand here. So that must mean something too. <laughs> okay. Confirmation. A sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. When you see the fireworks, you might meet your person. Or run into them. <laughs> at the fireworks. If you're here in the States. Okay. Um, Let's see. What about this page? Because I don't have anybody else to put it on, right? Nope. That's our person. Okay. So, what's the scoop on this page of pentacles? We have here caring, insult, love. Okay. So, someone actually cares about you and they might have insulted you, but they love you. It might have been a caring insult. <laughs> I don't know. Take if it resonates. You maybe someone misunderstood it or something happened here or and then again it could be for you, maybe not. Let's see what about this messenger love we have. Jealousy. Keeps the money. Desire. There's jealousy and desire with this person and may if they if you owe them money or someone had money or I don't know how this works for you, but someone's either wants you to keep the money or they're keeping the money or you know wherever this keeps the money um you'll know how it works okay guys let's see what signs we have what signs do we have here for cancer we have cancer wow and aries Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, got all the fire signs, and Scorpio. Oh, why did I, I put an extra one there? Okay, you got an extra one. And Taurus, I went a overboard. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future people. We have Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. So actually, we wouldn't have got a double Taurus then, because that would have been on the, no, maybe it would have been. We wouldn't have got the Scorpio. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. Okay, so now we're going to do letters, 11 letters, and this will be for initials for first name last name and then um if you get the first and last and you know someone's middle name if you get that initial all the better past present and future people also your own initials okay this is my fifth one i did straight in a row so i'm getting a little punchy sorry about that h h i x k g Q F B M O. Okay, so your letters for today are H H I X K G Q F B M O. Now we'll do eleven names or more. We're shooting for eleven, but if we get more, it's okay. Let's see. get some there against the wall here okay let's see what we have here we have Keisha K-E-I-S-H-A we have Chris Janae J-A-N-A-E we have Pip Portia Bobby what do I we have Rhea Samante, S A M O N T E, Samante. Okay, and we have Karari, Karari, K R E, K A R I E. Someone spelled it out for me, so I can say it 
properly. And now since I'm getting kind of punchy, I can't do it. Okay, nice. We have two more. See, even even you make it easier for me, I still can't get it. Okay, so we have Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, -F, and we have Walter. Those are your names. Okay, guys, so please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. This, this is a general reading, not a personal reading. Please let me know if anything resonates. If it doesn't make sense now, we are looking for hidden information. And sometimes the guy's spirit doesn't want you to know. You're not meant to know, so it won't come out. Because we're not going to be told information that it's better if we don't know it or for some reason we have to be left in the dark for whatever reason okay so so remember just you know take if it resonates leave it doesn't some parts of it might resonate but other parts might not maybe it's for you maybe it's not for you also um i just want to say i love you guys so much i appreciate all you like share subscribe, and comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you